what we are having here is a case of an abdominal ruptured ectopic pregnancy and the retained fetus was there but it was demised no heartbeat was found so what you are seeing here is our nice uterus our nice uterus and you can actually see here our catheter bulb was inflated in situ in the urinary bladder here and here is our cow de sac uh, you can see free fluid here in the cow de sac and there is a bit of some free fluid around the uterus so you can see free fluid around the, the uterus our uterus is appearing bulky uh, this is our endometrium and in the endometrium you can actually see that uh, we don't see any fetal parts or evidence of pregnancy this is the endometrium and then you can see free fluid here uh, right around here and again what you are appreciating here this is the right at next origin but in the right at next origin you can actually see this uh, this thing here this is actually looking like part of the abdomen of the fetus you can actually see this and this region uh it didn't have any flow on doppler this is a part of the fetal remains as you can appreciate our our, our uterus is down here that's part of the uterus here and you can see this and you can actually see here is part of the umbilical like cord that is actually going to the to the fetal abdomen here but there was no flow here and then you can see free fluid here right around here and you can see that uh, the uterus attached somewhere here to the abdominal wall so you can see here there's an attachment here you see this part it's non viable and there is free fluid here uh, in the peritoneal space so this is consistent with the ruptured ectopic pregnancy you can see the free fluid and this is a part of our, our uterus and then the umbilical cord again you can appreciate what i'm talking about here uh this is part of the psoas muscles there part of the muscles that side and you can actually see uh this is our fetal part so this is uh, the fetal remains uh you can see this looks very much like the abdomen of the fetus this looks like part of the retained fetus and then there is free fluid this is the abdomen this is extra uterine again there is something that is um so clear this one i couldn't appreciate what it was this is a cystic cystic collection this is attached to the fetal part or the fetal remains so you can actually see it it is here and then the fetus is here maybe it's a cystic agroma i'm not quite sure because the fetus is demised and it's very difficult to appreciate what the cystic collection could be and then here you can nicely see our uterus uh, that is coming here and then there's free fluid around it this is our uterus coming there and then there's a lot of free fluid and then this is part of the retained dead fetus or demised fetus as you see there so this is a typical case of an ectopic abdominal pregnancy so you see again this looks like the umbilical vessels or the in the in the fetus this looks like a umbilical vein here so this looks like part of the fetal abdomen and then right round you see or you can appreciate uh, the free fluid which is consistent with the ruptured again appreciating from this end you can see our catheter bulb is in situ it's inflated and then there's a free fluid around the uterus this is the cow de sac and this Free fluid here we do we have got this is the mimetia of the urinal of, of our uterus and then what we have here uh, is our endometrium without a gestational sac or any portions of the fetus so this is actually consistent again with our a ruptured abdominal ectopic pregnancy using a different grey scale you can appreciate the same this looks like that abdomen of the fetus and you can see this other cyst that i'm talking about you can appreciate it is coming here i couldn't make what it was and then then our uterus is somewhere here so again this is another case uh, that is presenting with a ruptured ectopic pregnancy so this is a typical case of an abdominal ectopic pregnancy so if you see this peritoneal free fluid 
you can actually conclude that this is suggestive of a ruptured ectopic pregnancy. So it seems at our department, uh, ectopic pregnancies they are very rife, and here and again we see ruptured ectopic pregnancies. So I also need you to appreciate. Uh, you have to correlate the sonography findings with the clinical findings. Uh, if someone is said to be uh, pregnant, pregnant test preg positive, and then you see these findings, you must be certain or confident that you are dealing with the case of an ectopic pregnancy. So an ectopic pregnancy is actually an emergence. We don't want this rapture thing to take place because internal bleeding can be life-threatening to the mother. I thank you all for your time. Once again, stay blessed wherever you are. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.